Hello and welcome back to our continuing adventures on the Let's Defend platform. Today we are tackling one of the last three DFIR or Digital Forensics Incident Response exercises, that of the Ransomware Attack exercise. This exercise was made by at Russian Panda, which I I believe this person did one of the malware analysis exercises. Yeah, the uh, uh, malicious VBA. Maybe even the Excel 4.0 macros? Nope, just the malicious VBA. And of course now the um, ransomware attack. So we were given a zip file that extracts out to a .mans file, M-A-N-S. And apparently it is a memory acquisition uh, from the FireEye Redline tool. Uh, so it requires the installation of the Redline Utility, which thankfully is free from FireEye. And we are given six questions to go through. And... Yeah, basically answer. So the summary of it is, we have extracted the memory dump from the compromised machine. Find the evidence of the ransomware attack. So make sure that I've got, yes, okay. So the questions have been dumped into that. And let me make the transition to Redline. So this is Redline with the provided MANS file dumped in. I am currently looking at the timeline over here on the left for analysis data. And I'm near the very bottom of everything that was captured as this is further on on the timeline. So let me bring up my All right, so the first question is, please you find the drop DLL, include the whole path, including the DLL file. So I guess we're looking for something that looks odd. And that would be a DLL file near the bottom. And then, of course, is the problem is that this sucker runs, and it just it can be a little bit resource intensive. All right, we have readme that there was this two sigma six. Lima, Charlie, dash, read me dot text. Okay, so it looks like that would be the ransomware kicking off then. As it's been yeah, so it's adding dot two sigma six Lima Charlie at the end of the actual files that it encrypts. So then this must be the ransom note as the readme. Yep, so zip files get done, everything else. It basically just dumps, changes the UR. Okay, so yeah. All right, that's definitely the process. So let's go up a little bit and see what we have.
Huh. I mean, right off the bat. C users Charles app data local temp ms mpeng.exe that's the Windows Defender engine I believe just above that we got a DLL file inside a temp We got the um, ransom note again. Looks like this is the running of the msmpeng.exe. LSAS, that's interesting. File created, so this is dumped down process start command exe that calls that file let me go further up lsas.exe was pulled from http colon slash slash 192.168.75 129 on port 8111 and the documents folder and then lsas So it looks like Chrome downloaded this LSAS.exe, which was then it looks like it was run. Yeah, and then it looks like it dropped that DLL, the mpsvc.dll, and the msmpeng.exe. So it dropped it down. We get a command window that spawns that then calls the msmpeng.exe. And generates LSAS again. <laughs> that looks odd. So let's grab that. C users Charles app data local temp mpsvc.dll. And let's go ahead and Let's try full path of the file, the DLL. See if we're on the right track. We're on the right track. Okay, what's the MD5 for it? Go back to Redline.
zero four zero eight one eight bravo one bravo three all right copy pay oh, copy that Not the grabs the entire line so we clean that up a little bit Ending in Echo, Echo, Bravo, 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 Charlie. Just making sure I have that right. All right, let's see. Hopefully I got that cotton cleaned up properly. Hey, all right. What is the name of the ransomware note that dropped? It's going to be after it kicks off a bit. It's going to be that, yeah. So that's the, my guess is the 2 sigma 6 lima charlie dash readme.txt. So we'll grab that again. We'll clean that up. Since it's generated in multiple different folders. So let's go ahead and I've got that cut. And we'll see if we're on the right track with that too. Huh. Oh, without extension. Oh, I guess it's a good thing I uh, did the hint then. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh, try to avoid doing the hints if I can help it. <laughs> uh, what URL, or what is the URL that the initial payload was downloaded from? Include the whole URL in the payload. And of course, there's no hint to that. But that's okay. So we need to find. Right here. So HTTP colon slash slash 129 colon 8111 slash documents slash LSAS. Okay, let's. All right, let's, uh, let's try that. Oh man, we are cooking with gas now. Last two questions. Ransomware drops a copy of the legitimate application in the temp folder. Please provide the file name. That goes back to msmpeng, including the extension. Yay. What is the name of the ransomware? So we will take the DLL, the MD5, that's uh, we submitted for the answer to what? Question two. We'll dump that into virus total. And as of a day ago, wow, 53 out of 68. But it looks like the... So, Sodai Nogibi? That's, uh, yeah. Alright, so we'll copy that. And we will see if that answers question six. Hey, alright.
<laughs> fun, fun on the bun. All right, so with all that said, that completes the ransomware attack DFIR exercise on the Let's Defend platform. I would say if you've got a moment, oh, this goes to LinkedIn. I thought the other one might have gone to, uh, oh, not LinkedIn, but like Twitter. But regardless, if you go through and do this, um, I'm going to do it off screen, but I'm going to go give kudos to the quote unquote Russian panda for this exercise. And since I did not say anything, well, I think I said it in the video, but I'll drop a note in regards to the malware analysis for the malicious VBA exercise uh, as well. Because um, I always appreciate extra things to go through and chew on, for lack of a better phrase. Because don't end up having to deal with ransomware too much as it sits right now. Knock on wood. <laughs> That's everybody else. Uh, our, our organization's pretty good. But, okay, so that completes that exercise. You get a second. The write-ups are included. Uh, below the lower portion of the summary, just before the questions, so you can take a look to see as to whether or not if maybe any of those three write-ups, yeah, do a better job of uh, explaining um, how they went through and did this. I haven't looked at them. I'm trying to do this as blind as possible going in. Um, and then, of course, shout out to Russian Panda. <laughs> right, with that, I will see everyone in the next video.